Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. If you're new here, my name is Jessie. Today y'all, I'm going to be doing some kitchen cleaning. So this is my nighttime kitchen cleaning routine. So I'm gonna share with you what that consists of. So as you see, I'm putting on a load of laundry because laundry gets piled up so fast y'all. So if I can get a load of laundry or two done while I'm getting some cleaning done and just keep up with it, I take advantage of that. Since I'm gonna be in the kitchen for a little bit I can knock out a couple loads of laundry so I'm gonna go ahead and get a load on and then we're gonna get right into cleaning I'm gonna go ahead and wipe down the washer and dry really quick I don't want my new washer to get dirty it already has cat hair on it from Binks <laughs> and um, I usually don't have to deal with cat hair but it just seems to be collecting here on this washer so I'm gonna go ahead and wipe it down I'm gonna go ahead and give the dryer a quick wipe down as well and then we are going to get into the kitchen and get some cleaning done I hope you're all having a wonderful day and if you need to get some cleaning done hopefully this video will give you lots of cleaning motivation and if you want to clean with me get up and let's get to it so whenever I'm cleaning the kitchen I always go in these order the first thing I like to do y'all is clean off my table now usually I'll just clean it um, off get everything put away um, if anything needs to go in the fridge get that put in the fridge all the dirty dishes um, in the sink and um, and just wipe the table down but today I'm going to go ahead and kind of wipe down the table and do a little bit more of a deep clean on the table instead of just wiping it down because every once in a while I like to do this and if the table runner is dirty I'll go ahead and replace it show me what it's like to be circling among the clouds Cause without you by my side I would be stuck here on the ground You're lighting up the way I can see the road ahead of me I won't be stumbling in the dark Your eyes are shining like the stars And y'all, thanks to Ezra, I'm finding socks everywhere. This little boy just loves playing with socks and Every time he sees a sock somewhere, he has to go and grab it. So every time I clean the living room, I'm always finding socks. And y'all, do not mind those bananas. They just fell and they were ready to go in the trash anyways. So I had to go and put them in the trash. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and vacuum the rug really fast. The vacuum, the vacuum was almost dying. So I needed to go ahead and vacuum really quick. Never thought I'd be so far from home. After my table is all nice and clean, the next thing that I like to do, y'all, is clean off my counters. Um, I have a lot of stuff on the microwave. I'm going to keep that stuff there, y'all, and it's just like some paint and stuff like that. I don't want those to get lost, so I'm just going to keep them there because I have some projects coming up and I'm going to be using them soon. Um, but I'm going to clean off my counters and get everything all wiped down and clean. And my stove is next. Um, so that's what I like to do, just make sure everything's all clean because 
because when I do dishes, y'all, I want to make sure I have all of the dirty dishes right there. I don't want to wash all my dishes or, you know, get them put in the dryer and be done and clean my sink, turn around, and then I have dishes everywhere. So that's why I like to do what I do. And I make sure everything is where it's supposed to be. I put everything up and then gather all of the dirty dishes before I start doing that. And trust me, y'all, not every night I want to clean my kitchen and get it all nice and clean. But let me tell you, even though I don't feel like it some nights and then I end up having to do it anyways, um, waking up in the morning to a nice, clean kitchen is so worth it. I love waking up and my kitchen is nice and clean. That is one less thing that you have to do when you wake up. So um, that is what I like to do is I like to push myself, even if I'm not feeling it, get it all nice and clean. stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away show us where we are what makes the sun go to sleep every night and what's it dreaming of i wonder like me a little bit scared of heights why does the rain always keep on pouring down when it's gray outside it really makes me wonder my stove was a little dirty so I decided to go ahead and give it a good little deep clean now I wish I would have went ahead and cleaned the inside but that does take a bit of time since it's late at night I didn't do that but I will be cleaning the inside of the oven as well eventually in an upcoming video hopefully that will motivate you to get up and clean your oven that is one of my other least favorite things to clean what are your least favorite things to clean comment down below and let me know my two um, places that I don't really care to clean are the fridge and the um, oven, but they have to get done anyways. <laughs> but yeah, I've been procrastinating and the oven desperately needs a good cleaning, so I will be cleaning that soon. Once I get my stove all clean, I like to go ahead and light a candle and get it smelling all good in here. So the candle that I'm using right now is a, um, a lemon scent candle from Walmart. I've had it for quite a while now. Um, I used to keep it on my island and burn it all the time, but I forgot 
that I had it after I moved my island. So I have been bringing it and just leaving it here on the stove and just burning it at night after I get done cleaning. Now this load of laundry is done. I'm gonna go ahead and switch it over into the dryer. And yes, y'all, I have to step on my step stool to get the clothes out of the wash machine. I didn't used to have to do that with my other washer, but this one's just so much deeper and I have to step on the step stool. I am short, y'all, I'm only 4'10 and a half, so. Just know I am very short. I've had, you know, other people ask me when I'm in my other mobile home um, why everything in my kitchen looks so big. <laughs> it's not because everything looks so big. I was just so small compared to everything. But that was funny. But yeah, I'm just short, so I have to step on the step stool. But I do love my washer, so it is worth it. And I so can't wait to get the matching dryer soon. Um, my dryer works perfectly fine, but eventually I will be having the uh, matching dryer. And I just can't wait because it kind of bugs me to not have the set. But I am loving my washer so far. So like I said, I'm going to be keeping up with the laundry. So I'm putting in a load and I'm going to let that wash too. I'm, I'm going to try to do three loads tonight and just keep up with it and then tomorrow I can just work on getting them put up. So that's going to help me a lot. This is all the laundry that I have to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it all finished while I'm getting things done. So you're not gonna see any folding of laundry or anything like that. I'm just basically going to be putting it in the wash and then to the dryer, just getting them all washed. Tomorrow I will just have a laundry party <laughs> and get it all put away. When I call up up to say I'm in town I get a notion That we both walk the same ground Been traveling all over Such and far and away For a sign to lead me straight Now it is time to load the dishwasher. As you can see, my sinks are both full. So I'm gonna go ahead and load the dishwasher with all of the dishes that I can. And yes, y'all, I like to wash my dishes or kind of like rinse them off and kind of scrub them. Before I put them in the dishwasher, I don't like to put my dishes in dirty. And as you can see, I'm having to let some soak because my son loves his milk and cookies and he didn't rinse out the cup. So now I'm having to let it soak before I can um, rinse it out. But that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna get everything loaded into the dishwasher so I can get the dishwasher turned on for the night. And then whatever I don't put in there, I'm just going to go ahead and wash by hand. That way I don't have any dirty dishes in my sink and I can get that sink all nice and clean as well. We walk together down the streets of my home. It's been forever, a long time that I've been gone. The feelings come easy as we start a new
All of the dishes are done, the sink's all clean. I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum now. I like to start in the laundry room and then work my way into the kitchen and get that all vacuumed. And I usually like to mop too, but tomorrow I'm going to be mopping, so I'm gonna go ahead and just leave the mopping for tomorrow. And I'm just going to vacuum and make sure the floors are all clean. But yeah, this is the new rug that I got for my laundry room. I think it's cute. I love the color of the green and the tan that's in there. And it just pulls all the colors in my laundry room all together. kitchen is now all nice and clean and this is what I like to do every night before I go to bed to make sure my kitchen is nice and clean when I wake up in the morning. This is my nighttime kitchen cleaning routine. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video and thank you so much for watching and I will see y'all in the next one. All right, bye y'all.